What am I looking at right now? What do you mean? You look like a YouTuber with 10 subscribers. Excuse me. What? You may have noticed that I'm in a different location right now. I'm in... You are. I'm in Greenville, North Carolina right now. Okay. Yeah. Who who are you visiting? Well, Greenville, North Carolina, it's the home of home of Mr. Beast. Oh. I'm not visiting Mr. Beast, though. What else is there? My buddy, he works at Mr. Beast. He's like a, an employee there. So you are visiting Mr. Beast. I'm visiting Mr. Beast land. I'm visiting <laughs> the area in which he Dude, roams. He runs the city. He does. As far as I can tell, he's the only he's the only thing worth going to that that hellscape for. He, he does and I I'll admit I, I we were driving through town square and I was not really surprised when I saw a statue erected in his honor mm -hmm. in the town mm -hmm. square. Of him, like, jerking off, too. No. Look out. No. Look out, no. just, no. like, hanging no. over the townsfolk. No. Like, that no. picture of him at the gas station? It's him. Where he's holding the camera down, <laughs> and he's pulling his, like, pulling his waistband down a little bit, and you see some of that pipe. You see some of that side pipe? No, it's a statue of him standing upon a, a large pile of money. Uh, and it's just mm. and it's just in beast we trust written on a plaque yeah. down below dripping <laughs> no dripping no no dripping down his no, face no. down his arms <laughs> and extremities and no, right onto me absolutely. right all over me right all just stand under it. I will tell oh. you one thing, though, Schlad, because I mm -hmm. checked out their headquarters, and there's a, a large, you've seen it before, there's a large wall, and it's got all of the plaques from the years and many channels that Mr. Beast mm -hmm. has, and mm -hmm. there is a one area on the wall, mm -hmm. and it's just an empty sort of shadow of where a diamond play button used to be with a big <laughs> note yep. next to it that says find him i walk through some of the the meeting rooms it's like there are whole whiteboards just dedicated to triangulating your location it's you should be afraid you know he can just dm me and i would give it back to him welcome to chuckle sandwich Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Chuckle Sandwich. Oh, another day, another dollar. Another day, another dollar. Another, uh, another grimly finding another its food. Another bright red racing chair. Another that bright. We sit in. Yeah, I think this is actually what a the towel. What hell is this going is like, on? This is like a cardigan hung over <laughs> the Draped back over the <laughs> seat so you can't see the logo. Yeah, I, I mean it's. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, no, we can't. We can't have that. We can't mm -hmm. have logos on mm -hmm. here. We've got our money to no. make. Yeah, and then there's a painting up here of um, it's a cow, and then it's like a guy saying to the cow, um, fuck you, and then another character saying, your uh -huh. ass is grass, and then there's a display here of the cow um, hmm. eating that dude's ass out. Wow, and this is the producer for Mr. Beast? This, this is, is the, his place. office? No, this is another... This is another person who works at beast i was i was okay. journeying around the town of greenville trying to find mm -hmm. a setup that mm -hmm. would that would work surprisingly low setup count for a place that it houses one of the biggest youtubers yeah. um which was a bit shocking to me but i managed to get one um and well, it's you not did even, it yeah and now I'm it's here. a little concerning who who would put that up on their wall uh, yeah. you know, it's a bit avant-garde. That's what I'll say. It's it's yeah. avant-garde. It's beautiful, really. It sort of tells a story in three parts and a bit a, a confusing story nonetheless. But yeah, it's like an upcoming art hub. You know, <laughs> yeah. when all the young people start moving in and start gentrifying. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. No, this is something you'd see at a yeah. gallery nearby where mm -hmm, it's like, mm -hmm. or it's like movements through movements through <laughs> insanity. And then that's yeah. that's like the 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 headline right there. That's 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 Nicki Minaj. That's that's Lady Gaga yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know how are you guys doing. What's 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 new? We got oh well, we got Tucker back. I'm week. back. Oh hey, welcome. <laughs> yeah, you guys yeah. abandoned me. Was Nothing actually yet. starting yeah. to miss you. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. We've reached yeah. a really good spot then. Yeah, no, we, we've 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 sort of gained a little bit of 
of love for Tucker. Well, at least Schlatt has. Yeah. I've known. I, I, Schlatt, do you, do you, so you miss him now? You, you you miss him like a son? Oh, I don't miss him now. I'm, he's standing right in front of me. I, you, I, I, I know him. why he misses him because every time he shows up to the call, I compliment something about his appearance. And he didn't get that last week. He might not know that I do that, but I do it every time, and I think it's subconsciously oh. imprinted on him. He's 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 your Pavlovian me, like, training Schlatt to. Like to, a, to, like when, when I wasn't turkey. there, he was probably like, "Man, what yeah. the fuck? What's wrong? Why yeah, don't I feel? If, I don't feel attractive today. What? Yeah, What's if you don't give on? him a compliment next week, to, so that's gonna end the call and be like, be like, Tuck was really mean to me today. <laughs> 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 he was an asshole today, I, but I don't know why. I don't know what he said. Well, dude, I I, I take the compliments in stride, you know. They're, they they do really gas me up. I put on my, my corduroy, corduroy again. Yeah. Like the cord, the cord is out. Yeah, mm-hmm. the hat is off. The suave hair oh. is banging. Yeah, it's just too long. I got to get it cut. Yeah, it's, it's fun. Yeah. Do you have a specific uh, barber you go to, and then and then feel the regret if they're like not available? You try someone else, and it never like properly works out. I feel regret regardless of who I go to. <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? You know where you have something that's like it's not good, but you keep doing it because you you know at least at a baseline what to expect. Yeah. So why don't you just try to find like a good barber? Why don't? Because then it could be worse. Who knows? So I'm you're just you're just in, you're just accepting the bare minute. Well, Tucker, your situation is a little bit different. You've got like that one guy that's been working for like a thousand years or something. Every time I've ever gotten a haircut in my life, I usually walk out of there like. Hmm. This could have been better. <laughs> There's not too much to work with, though, when it comes to your There's haircut. a lot You've to got, work with. No, there isn't. You've got, like, a little tiny baby spike. Well, yeah, it's... You look like a baby rhinoceros. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, here, I'll take suggestions. Somebody yeah, we send can, some we suggestions. Can, we, yeah, My down in the comments, straight. give us your suggestions on Tucker's new hair. I feel like people are going to tell you to grow it out, though, and just have, like... I feel like if we really worked on it this year, we could have Tucker just have, like... Full beard Jesus cut, and like it would you become be sort of a mythical funny. figure. Yeah, then the then the whole the, comment section is just gonna say Tucker needs a low taper fade. T- Tucker needs a low taper fade. That's what everyone's gonna say. Yeah, what is a low taper? fade? I don't know. I, been, I don't know. I've been seeing it's it all stupid. over online. It's starting to poof. You mentioned hair once, and then it's just low taper fade, like as if it means something to me. I feel like I'm just getting a little too old to understand the the origins of these. Oh of well, these Tucker's words. got it up on screen here right now. That, this is. A I don't know if I can pull that off. I think you. No, you're right. Low taper fade. Yeah, you you can't. That's such a crisp sort of line there. That's I, like I get a fade like this every time. That has to go bad after like two days. Oh yeah. Oh no, this yeah. This is like you go to the. I feel like they go to the barber just to like. Oh, what's that one on the left of what you just clicked on? This is that a low taper fade? That might be. I don't that know, looks like chaos. It looks like chaos incarnate. Well, this is like the Marine Corps haircut. You got to get it every week. Yeah. Jesus. My goodness! Yeah, why did no, I th- even care that much? You know, Tucker, I think you should get like one of those UK haircuts. When I was no. in Ireland with my mom, I saw a bunch of these kids in the UK like that, and it's like, yeah, that would be incredible. That looks like just like a wave. Um, there was, there was a bunch of these kids, and they had like kind of like a bowl cut almost, but it stopped like right here, so it like just looked like. Like they were some evil little character. Yeah, yeah. It's like a bowl cut. Yeah, that kid in the middle there. Well, that's not what I'm thinking. That's that's some something else. That's something else. That's fucked up. I but don't he, know what that is. No one no one would walk into the barber and show that image. Boy twelve sent home from school over Ronaldo style haircut. That's that's wild. Yeah, no, I don't think I could do that as a haircut. I For the longest time, I mean, I think I've saw, said this on the podcast before. For the longest time, I had the Bieber cut. So I kind of had like a bowl. But it wasn't really? like... Really? Yeah, you did. It was meant to be like the like the Bieber cut kind of thing. Like I got it when I was in like middle school when Justin Bieber was at his uh-huh. peak, you know? Right. Um, yeah. And it just didn't really end up being like a really good haircut at all. I mean, I'm going to send... I'm going to send some photos that we're going to put up on you don't need to send them we've already got them oh you can just go through my my facebook tucker and you can just find them oh maybe Uh, i'll do my personal file 
Yeah, you can do your personal <laughs> file, I guess. Um, Dig into the, the old hard drive. Of the various haircuts I had over the, the years, it was just really one, and it, it was supposed to be a beaver cut, but it ended up just being kind of like a bowl cut for most of my life. I looked like coconut head most of my life. Yeah. Mm. Um, like a coconut head from Ned's, Ned's, Decla- Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. you remember that, Shalat? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so not... I got this chain. I got it to this haircut or the beginning of what this. <laughs> yeah, Jesus yeah, dude. Christ. I looked. Like, I looked like him. I looked like wow. him, and I made the same faces. <laughs> oh, he got hot though. He got hot. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, yeah he that's did, he did that's get a hot. glow up. That's a glow up for sure. That's I know the other characters up. didn't exactly have a glow up. Is they're on a podcast talking about how they would blow each other? Uh, in between filming. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they have like a like a a podcast about the show twenty years later. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's that's what people do when they've got nothing left. They start like a podcast. <laughs> wow, you know? Dude, you're really going in. Oh, well, well they, uh, yeah, yeah, no, but not for like some people though, right? I think most probably. But like some people who start like a podcast. dead end, like a hey. We're really scraping the bottom uh, of the barrel. Let's let's uh, like it's like I just get like in front some, of a microphone and say some bullshit. Well, I know? feel like some podcasts are like they're like the paragon of creativity and the paragon of, of culture and comedy. Like some, yeah, especially well, once yeah. they begin with C and also then the second num- then the word is S and end in um, which. Yeah. Right. Well, not everyone can run a run as good a show as we do. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. It takes no, a lot got, of takes a lot of effort to do what we do here. Yeah, people are rolling up in the droves, and they're like, they're listening to us in their car commuting, or they put it up on the big TV. Like my face could right now be on a big TV in someone's living room, and they're sitting on the couch, and I'm looking at that person right now. And I like doing those specific call outs too, because then there's a person who's sitting there doing that exact thing, and they're like, "What the fuck is happening right now?" <laughs> <laughs> Um, but there's a lot in the news flat. Have you heard? Yeah. Dairy Queen punishment in the news. Dairy yeah. Queen manager allegedly punished employees by making them eat ice cream mixed with cleaning solution. I found this on Twitter like a what week ago fuck, or something. What the man? I found this on Twitter like a like a little bit less than a week ago. And yeah, Dairy Queen manager. Tucker, would you give us the rundown on what happened with this? Okay. So Kentucky Dairy Queen. <laughs> staff meeting staff meeting machine wasn't clean properly managers pissed manager forces employees some of them children some of them have parents mm. not everybody some has of parents. them have everyone's has parents wrong and okay. they made them eat ice cream mixed with cleaning solution as a punishment for poor working for poor cleaning yeah, like they're like they're cleaning the the ice cream thing improperly. Yeah, yeah no permanent sounds, injuries. So honestly, it doesn't sound like that big of a deal. That sounds fair. Yeah, cleaning I mean, solution I, is such a such a heavy word for soap. Yeah, you ever got your mouth washed out with soap after you said fuck? I mean, yeah, I think I did to, that once. I yeah, mean, to be honest. There is a, a wide range of things that you can refer solution. to as cleaning solutions. Soap. One of them. Well, Soap. Well, one of them includes bleach. bleach Was it bleach? Bleach isn't that bad for you? No, you can dilute. You say that? Yeah. You put bleach Even, in your water, purify it. It's all about the ratio, man. It's all about wait, the ratio. Wait, Tucker, you tell me that you've been drinking bleach water? Bro, in the Marine Corps, they got the, the water thing, right? The medic shows up, just dumping bleach into it. And we're drinking mm. that water all week. And everyone's what? going, are, are we supposed to be drinking that? And they're just like, it's all about the ratio. <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh, okay, I guess I'm in the desert. I guess I'll drink it. That's how Jeez. they create super soldiers. That's, yeah. That's how, they, that's, how they, that's how they put people in the field. So you could drink, so you give soldiers enough bleach juice for four years one full enlistment <laughs> if they end up behind enemy lines they could just drink the murkiest fucking dirt water you find mm. and they're they're gonna walk it off that shit's lined with fucking it's, it's lined their stomachs are lined with metal at that point oh my god but you I, i'm almost more surprised that they, like i'm more focused now on the fact that tucker was drinking bleach water for four years and i was Marines enjoying that, it 
I was liking it. When you want when you're thirsty, you're thirsty. Yeah. It's true. And when you want a blizzard, you want a blizzard. What? Yeah, true. Doesn't matter if there's a little bit of soap in the blizzard. Yeah, apparently there's a whole lot wide range of the quality of, of Dairy Queens. You know, there's like the one that Schlatt really loves. <laughs> oh, it's Dude, so wouldn't it happen at a Mayfield? Yeah, wouldn't it happen at a Mayfield, you, you DQ? Got the May, you got the Mayfield Dairy Queen that you've been they hyping keep, up. Yeah, and they then, keep those places spick and spin. The manager wouldn't have to pull any shit like that. Yeah, this is like, this has got to be like the 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 shadow version of of the Mayfield Dairy Queens. This is the, this is the dark link of, of Mayfield Dairy Queens. <laughs> yeah, so it's the mantra. I mean, he did it after not... This is... Yeah, that's crazy. So they must have been like a bunch of like just high schoolers that were working at this Dairy Queen that the, the, that the guy was like, yeah, no, so you're drinking, you're drinking soap ice cream. You're that's what soap. it always is, working at a Dairy Queen. Yeah. It's always just a bunch of high schoolers. Same with Chick-fil-A. Well... They like them young. Don't say it like that. What? <laughs> they like them. Li- they like them young, brother. Yeah, they don't have to. They don't have. To, they, they can feed them soap, and no one even. No one even quits. That's Look true. That. Yeah, yeah that's no true. one quit. No one quit. Oh yeah, no and no oh. and no no charges have been filed against the manager too. Yeah, yeah I would be like. They should start I doing this qu- at McDonald's, dude. That that uh, McFlurry machine would never be down. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the uh, I will say this is pretty damn close. This is like a mixture between what uh, we did in the two videos where we were taste testing sh- stuff. Schlatt. This is if we, as if we did the dish soap yeah. and we made ice cream out of dish soap. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what what that would have turned out like. That would have been something. Probably not good at all. You, Probably terrible. You were, you were really confident that you could have that soap. I remember in that video, you were like, this is going to be a walk in the park. And then we were just like, you just can't. It was like physically impossible for us to swallow. Yeah, you couldn't do it. And it's I think we both possible. we both gave like a a decent effort to try to like begin that process with our throat of like yeah swallowing that uh, what was it Cheerios Cheerios and dish soap. Fucking Ugh. shit. Yeah. It's terrible. Hey, moral of the story: soap works. We won't be doing that again. Yeah. And let me tell you, that ice cream machine stays clean from now on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Randy's gonna make me fucking eat soap again. <laughs> <laughs> <Fred>. <laughs> um, did you guys? So wait, have you guys had that like punishment when you were kids? We may have talked about this. In the and yeah, this before. is actually did a picture of me. Did you yeah. get that Tucker when you were a kid? I, I'm fairly certain I got that w- once. And you, got I got it shot? once. I got it once. Once one That's time enough. is all you need. Hey, that manager is never going to need to do it again. It's kind of like a spanking, you know. You get one as a kid, and just the threat of it from then on, you're like, oh, can't argue with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my sister got it once, and I think just the seeing her it happen to her, I was like, damn, dude, I'm <laughs> not gonna fuck around here. She was made an example of, and then I stayed dude, in line. <laughs> watching your siblings get punished as a kid was like kind of fun until they really started getting it, and then you were like, oh. Fuck! I gotta look away. You're like, <laughs> I don't want to get I'm caught a, enjoying this. I, I, I'm in, I'm complicit in this in this yeah. thing. Thankfully, there have been no reports of permanent injuries. What? Come on, bro! It's just a little bit of soap. Yeah, well, it's cleaning solution. Yeah, cleaning solution. Maybe it was like fabulous. Call it. It's soap. Bro, well, put a little hand soap in the in the. What's the most the dangerous machine. thing? There's no problem with this. But what's the most dangerous chemical that could could be considered a, a cleaning solution? Probably bleach. Do we know? Ammonia. You would, you think so? Ammonia. Ammonia, Maybe. perhaps. Maybe even mercury. Do they use mercury to clean anything? No. No. Definitely not. They I feel like it, it sounds like something that would be used as a as a cleaning. Yeah, in the fifties, they're probably using that as body wash, dude. And then they're like, "Oh shit, our, they, our yeah. limbs are falling off." <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, they were using they were using a. Women uh, were wearing like uranium ore as jewelry. Yeah, condition <laughs> conditioner made of. Uh, there's yeah, actually it's a, a play fucking topical cream that like keeps you young. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just fucking mercury. <laughs> oh. <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> there was a when I was in high school because you know I was a theater kid. We did this, um, we did this uh, competition in Massachusetts, a theater competition called uh, Festival, where we would all each school would prepare like a forty minute play and like it would go through like the you know like an actual competition where you'd have semifinals mm. and like quarterfinals or whatever like that. And 
almost every year that I was in high school, there would be at least one production of this show called Radium Girls, which mm. was a production about this group of women that were basically working in a watch factory where they would uh, just be um, painting this radium coating onto the faces of these watches, but they didn't really have like proper working conditions. So in order to sharpen the um, the little paintbrushes they had, they would they would use their mouths mm. to do it. Um, and so they were basically putting radioactive materials in their mouths every day at work for several years. Um, mm. And they all fucking died of uh, of various radiation but, yeah. poisoning based stuff, like like in that example right there. No, it was really horrific, and I had to see that as a play done by high schoolers every fucking year for four years. Um, yeah, no. So that's not a good cleaning solution. I good just thing think they, good thing they Dairy Queen people didn't have radium ice cream. Yeah, I just think we're getting a little sensitive as a society. Yeah, you think that yeah. these people should have gotten over I think the- I think Dairy Queen employees can have a little soap. <laughs> I don't think that's it'll kill them. That's definitely not what I would have been signing up for if I started working at Dairy Queen. I was like, oh, I can't wait till the manager starts making me eat soap like I'm a, <laughs> oh. like my... My Father. mom from the 50s. Father, oh. you flip that fucking frosty over at me and, and and the ice cream starts dripping out. You're you're getting the soap. I'll tell you <laughs> one thing that happened treatment. at the at the when we went to the Mayfield Dairy Queen when they yes. flipped it, when Tucker was getting one, a little bit dripped out, a little bit really? dripped out. And they and the guy was like, sorry. And then like he kept going. He's like, he's trying he get, to like let it slide. Legally obligated to give you another one for free. Legally? Like why well, take him to the top? But we're gonna take this to the top then. We're gonna go to the Supreme Court. You say, hey, buddy, you want some soap in that mouth or you're going to get me another Frosty? <laughs> <laughs> you come around with just like a dish soap thing, like like a water gun filled with dish soap, and you're like, anyone fucks with me, I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> through the drive through window? <laughs> yeah, that would be a pretty uh, non-lethal way to, to mess with yeah, people. Just that would be battery. Just soap at them. At least battery. Well, it, you're not, it's not like... I feel like battery feels like you got to be using a baseball bat or something. Like you got to be at least using a baseball bat. Otherwise, it's not battery. That's a, that's definitely a more appropriate. Because uh, bats in the word, right? You have to use yeah. a bat in order to be battery. Okay. No. Or, okay. Yeah. Or throw a bat, the animal, at them. Mm-hmm. Right. You Tucker, went- do you have any problems with that? No, the bats are out in North Carolina. I saw some the other day because I was there. They're not <laughs> out here yet. They're not out. Yeah. I love the best. What were you guys doing in North Carolina together? Well, a, a a an old character from my very early YouTube videos that has not showed up in a long time, Moses. Mm. It was his uh, birthday. So we went out there for his birthday because he, oh, nice. uh, he lives in North Carolina as well. He lives nearby to Greenville. Um, and we just were hanging out, dude. Basically, it was honestly party. a pretty... Yeah, it was a good time. We, we basically had a, a, a table... Like his his dining room table, and we just put Tucker and I put our laptops out there, and then Moses brought out his his like desktop setup, and we were playing Hell Divers, just all all three of us at mm. this at this computer setup thing. So we were on comms, but it was like more like we had to have our headphones like kind of peeking out like this so we could hear each other rather than getting on Discord because the latency behind that would have just like fucked our brains up. Moses uh, didn't didn't have like a cool cigar bar to take you to. I feel like he's a high class individual. His place was the cigar bar. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he smokes like a chimney. Yeah. He, he had a bunch of he had a box of cigars, and there were several hmm. times that we were sitting on his balcony smoking. He's the, pulling out little... like handmade Chinese cigarettes. This one's Fucking from Italy. Man. He's like, dude, and they look so cool with those with, with, in those countries where they don't have laws about. How you can package cigarettes? Yeah, those boxes and those cigarettes. Yeah. they look fucking awesome. They look fucking awesome. Yeah, they smell like the cigarettes smelled I'll, good. I'll admit, they smelled good, but I was like not totally interested in like smoking the cigarettes. You know, yeah. you should have. You should have. You sh- I should have. It smelled I like the smell of cigarettes is kind of nice a it, little bit. Like it varies a like, lot. Like I didn't grow, really grow up with like a parent or something that like smoked cigarettes. So I don't have like any sort of association with like a chain smoker or anything like that. So when I smell cigarettes, I just think of like, oh, this smells like what it's like in Vegas when you're walking through a right. casino right. or something, which is like, 
I don't know. I feel like they designed them to smell a little bit good. They got to be doing something that that comes from the that that category, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, there's definitely there's they've done billions of dollars into the science behind that shit. You yeah. know they have. They have to make it as satisfying as possible. I'll tell you one thing. Funny stuff. Never smoked in my life until I made until I did. Oh my god, it's f- phenomenal. Phenomenal. It's phenomenal. The kids are gonna love it. And they gotta make they get they gotta make that shit taste like candy too. Mm, start selling let me tell it. You something. Start selling tell, it like Girl Scout cookies. Let me tell you something. I when I was in Japan, I went out with a YouTuber who will remain unnamed unless he wants to be named. Okay. He took me to a a bar in Japan in Ginza, I think it was, really upscale part of town. Oh, cool. It was me, Connor, uh, Jack Manifold. Uh-huh. And uh huh, and it's like it's like in the the bowels of this city. We had to walk down from the sidewalk to get into this place, and it's just like tucked away. This really small, small room, maybe eight seats max. Mm-hmm. And you go in here, and it's and the the place of the the name of the place is just cigarettes and liquor in all capital <laughs> letters. And in English, and, yeah. And you'll go down, and it's just a guy who makes all the drinks by hand. Uh, my the the guy who took us ordered an espresso martini, and he fucking started with the beans. Like that's that's how from scratch all these drinks are. And Dude's we we just sat espresso? there. Yeah, bro, we sat there for like thirty minutes waiting for the drinks to come out. He just silently like crafts them, and we're just puffing on cigars. Oh my god! Oh, that sounds hell awesome. of a time. Hell of a I really want to go to Japan this year. <sighs> Dude, what? What you want me to? You want me to parade you around like a little camp counselor? What, am I gonna wear? Am I gonna hold a little fucking red flag that you follow me around it with? Well, now I feel stupid me? for asking I just, for it, but kind of. Am I gonna be dude. a little tour guide? Am yeah, I show you all the fun places. I want you to teach me. I want Japanese experience. I want you to give me data. Yeah, too. I want you to take me to your favorite little little uh, vending machines and mm. although. What was that? I I think I read something somewhere or watched a video where it's like you're not allowed or something in Japan to drink while you're walking or eat while you're walking. It's no, like, look, you can do that. Oh, Japanese tend to not eat while walking or standing around on the street. However, it is acceptable to drink while standing aside a vending machine. People do. They do stand while they eat. So it's and... just like an like a like a low key etiquette thing. Yeah, you're not gonna get but I mean, by a cop. That's an it's old not American like, rule too. It, it, yeah, it's not like you're gonna get fucking killed if you walk a little bit and have a little bite su- of your bite of your Picari sweat, you know? Yeah, I'd just be surprised if I got killed for that. And in fact, yeah. in fact, I'd probably be surprised if I got killed in any scenario, but especially that, I'd be like floating up as a ghost, and I'd be like, "What the fuck was that?" What the- <laughs> The, the lamest way to go ever, really? <laughs> it's like, I'm like going up and I'm like, can I get another try? That didn't seem like very... <laughs> it's like when we, it's uh. like when I get blown up by a random meteor strike in Helldivers. I'm like, the fuck? Mm. People used to die so so much cooler back in the day, dude. I'd, I'd be complaining for my ghost test and I'd be like, that was literally RNG. Mm. <laughs> That's what Tucker was saying the whole fucking weekend. Whenever he got blown up by a meteor strike, he'd be like... This is like RNG, dude. This is fucking bullshit. Yeah, dude, it is bullshit. People die in such silly ways. These, yeah. These these days, you know. Back in the day, you you used to ask to kill yourself. Huh? Yeah. I've been watching Shogun. You watch Shogun? Oh, we're talking about the old days in Japan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, Chucklers, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. I don't know about you, but this time of the year always feels busy. Some of you have schoolwork piling up. Others are trying not to commit tax fraud. I'm busy on working on my ever-growing ring collection. It's become a full-time job, baby, and I'm working on getting more and more rings and expanding the ring collection, and I gain power every time I get a new one. And it's easy not to make time for the things that matter to you. Therapy is one thing that can help you find what matters to you, so you can find the time to do more of it. Personally, therapy has helped me in times when I've been overwhelmed and given me skills to time manage and prioritize my mental health. And if you've ever considered starting therapy, one of the options out there is BetterHelp. Just click the link in our bio, fill out the brief questionnaire, and you'll be matched with a licensed therapist. And if at any time the therapist isn't the right fit, you can switch at no additional cost. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com chuckle today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, 
H-E-L-P dot com slash chuckle. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode, and let's get back to it, baby. Shogun's, Shogun is uh, going on recently. It's this one, it's like, um, fuck, what's it like? It's like the the H, H, HBO miniseries on Chernobyl. It's like a one 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 and done thing. Oh, look okay. about the story. Fun. It looks good. Yeah. And uh those are like, that's uh, fun when the when they have like shows like that where there's no expectation for them to be like ex, there's no expectation for them to be expanded beyond the first season so they're just they're just yeah. clean. They're clean. Mhm. Mm-hmm. It's shot brilliantly. Sea Dog VA is in it. What? He's actually really? the main Yeah, he's actually the main character. No way. Yeah. Well, you can't see this does, none of He's these... the one. Yeah, there he is. Yep, there well, he is. That's not yeah, him. Yeah, see, that's Sea Dog VA. That's, he's that's, the main character in Shogun. That's not Sea Dog VA. Yeah, of course dude. it is. When, since when is. Since when? It is him. It looks like him. It acts like him. It's, you, in, it's a white guy in Japan like him. Have you, have you spoken to him about. Oh, I mean, I guess. It's totally it him. Is, it is. He is British, too. Yep. Wait, no, this is actually, con- I'm being convinced. It's a really good show so far. Is it done? It's only three seasons in. It not, no, it's only three episodes in. Um, It's coming out weekly. I've made an occasion to watch it. And uh, dude, the, the first episode of this show, the first episode, some dude, like he, He's really pissed off about something, and then he can't take it anymore. And so he he blurts out something in front of all the all the members of the council, and they're like, "Excuse you, what did you just say?" And, and then the tra- guy goes, they translates it, and it's like, yeah. "Poopy shit, fuck, <laughs> fucky poopy, dumb dumb shit balls." Shit, yeah, and then everyone's like, that. "Dude, what the fuck did you just say?" <laughs> and then the guy's like, "Uh, sir, please, please let me kill myself." <laughs> And then he what? kills himself. Yeah, yeah, he kills himself. Dude. Seppuku. Just like that. Dude, just like I that. I would not want to kill myself if I just said a couple things out loud. That sucks. That's crazy, though. Like, I can't imagine being in a world where, in a society in which that's the better option. Like, the, the, the emotions run so high that yeah. that is, like, a better... I mean, I guess it's somewhat similar to, like, I don't know... Uh, Similar things occur today where it's like, you know, dying for a cause or something like that. Like there's, I mean, that still exists today, but I mean, man, that's a silly intense. cause to go for, you know? Yeah. Saying something a little angry. You yeah, know, I've dude. said, I've, I've had my moments of, of. Yeah, I'd be, I'd and, be long, I'd be long dead. I, if yeah. I would have, you know, I've. Yeah, that sword like, would have been in my belly, my big <laughs> belly. Yeah. I mean, it's a whole process to get killed that way too it's like you stab yourself in the belly first and then someone chops your head off i think is what it is really yeah it's like the one guy oh. standing there with the katana but then you've got the little the little mini katana thing and you stab yourself in the stomach and then the dude cuts your head off he cuts your i thought that it was just the one in the stomach that gets you there's more you're telling me there's a there's a second person involved in this act that chops your head off I feel like i never heard of that one I feel like when I've seen it, it's been a twosome, not a one. It's not really. Both. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Not, could be a threesome too. I mean, maybe there's a third person that like maybe shoots an arrow. You think or one time but... somebody started that? They just like did something. They said a rude comment, cut their stomach open, and whoever was in charge is like, "That's the new standard." That's it. <laughs> They're like, "That was fucking everybody." Awesome. I really that was like metal that. as shit. <laughs> that was metal as shit. Can we like do that all the time? That made me feel really good. That guy just killed himself. The emperor is like, "All right, we're cha- That's the new. That's what we're doing now." <laughs> <laughs> but let's get get my best writer in here. We're making this shit law. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny, Tucker. That's that. That's probably how it happened. I mean, how else would somebody had to start else, it? Yeah, somebody's got to be the first guy to do it, and and that must have been crazy too. Or it's like there's gonna there's got to be a selection of people who would be like, well, that seemed a bit extreme, did it not? It seemed like it was a bit overkill, man. And then uh, and then there's the other party where it's like, no, that was exactly what we wanted. We need to start doing this all the time. <laughs> and there was more of them. <laughs> so what was the incident at your high school? <laughs> huh? <sighs> Like what type of incident? The incident. 
I don't know, Tucker. What was like the th- what? Do you have a thing at your that happened at your school that you're thinking of, Schlatt? No, like something fun, no. something funny where somebody slipped on. No, something nothing and, funny, nothing funny. Mine was also just kind of sad. I do know that when I was in in elementary school, I got in trouble for having a a battle with this kid who like really thought he was like Batman, and I like was like, "You're not Batman," and he was like, "All right." We're going to settle this like men. So like mm. recess, we were like having like a battle or something. I don't know. Like we had like a, a quarrel. And I remember <laughs> it being like a thing where I had to talk to a teacher after. And I was like, they were like, you can't oh. like, f- you can't have battles like that. You can't just, <laughs> you can't just have wars. Dude, I miss when people used to just be able to have battles, you know? Yeah, duels. Really? It was just cool. That That shit was cool. Like you could just be like, Let, we're gonna fight to the death right now, and you can't yeah. do that anymore. And we, they were doing that shit as recently as like a like less than a hundred years ago. Pro, bro, presidents were doing it. <laughs> yeah, presidents, presidents were, doing were, it. were 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 writing letters of people being like, "You stink." <laughs> meet you meet at this time at this place, and I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, we're that gonna, would solve a lot of problems today. We're settling this. Get them out there, like, yeah. man. Both the, both the candidates come out on their walkers and they're like, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, back then in, in like 100 years ago, even longer, it was like honor was like such a bigger thing than it than it is now where it's like people are just sloppy little sloppy let's little slop sluts. These, yeah, yeah. They're, they're slopping up these days. Back in the day, like somebody challenges you to do a duel, you're doing that whole fucking thing. 10 paces and turn around and try to shoot each other because you get one shot because it's not like a it's not like a a fort a block a, 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 <laughs> yeah it's not a smith and wesson 45 like you can't just start <laughs> throwing bullets out it's like you got one shot with the flintlock um but like can you imagine if like some dude was just like they start doing the paces and then he just kind of pulls out like a shiv and just like scurries up to the other guys he's walking away and just starts stabbing him like in the, in no because dude appendix. that would be worse than death that would be a loss of honor because you're not a man if you do that. You take your 10 paces. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably why Aaron Burr ran away to Mexico. He did? Yeah, because I think huh. it was like he he did not enough paces. Like he, he turned early or something. Really? Who is this? I think it he was Aaron Burr when he paces, killed Alexander Hamilton or something. Like Didn't he like, he like killed him early or something like that? Aaron Burr, what was like... I can't tell if I'm just knowing this information from having listened to the soundtrack of Alexander Hamilton, the musical, or if like this is actual historical information I know. He killed Hamilton? He did kill Hamilton. He did. He definitely, he definitely killed that fucking guy. He engaged in the duel and killed him. And he's a secretary of the treasury. Man, I wish our yeah. politicians were doing shit like this these That'd days. That'd be crazy, dude. Cage yeah. matches? Cage matches yeah. on C-SPAN? Yeah, somebody Sign pisses up, off dude. Nancy Pelosi. She's like, meet me outside at high noon. We're doing this. I'd <laughs> love seeing Nancy Pelosi get into a spit with fucking whatever that crazy lady is that was like wearing all all Trump stuff at the State of the Union. Oh, from that <laughs> that TikTok you sent me, the jump yeah, scare? Yeah, where, where, where like Biden was walking out and he saw her and he was like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> he made like a he made like a pog face when he saw her. It was awesome. <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, no, we need my. What, what, well, I guess that's a great question. What, what do we think politics would make would what would make politics better these days? Because like from a sound from the sound of it, it seems like politics was a lot more metal back in the day. If anything, it's a little bit more tame now. If we're able to do duels and stuff, like how do we bring that back? How do we bring back the the golden age of politics? What yeah, the golden age of politics, yeah. like back when back when Theodore Roosevelt was like going off to, yeah. you know, going off yeah. to the west and becoming a becoming a cattle rancher, and then they're all dying mm. in like storms and stuff, you know. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I the world like it just gets worse the farther back you go. You know, mm-hmm. what are you doing? What is Nothing. that? Nothing. What was that? Nothing. Was that Gumby? No, it wasn't Gumby. I was gonna say that's a little too floppy to be a. It's just a little. A it's just a little toy desk toy thing. Yeah, but I was listening. I like that. No, I like that. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> I like that. I like okay. that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. No. It would, uh, what were you saying though? Oh. You saying uh, I don't know. I, I'm always saying right. that maybe politics just kind of were worse back then, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah, like yeah. we're better off. I mean, not very much better off. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think the world is kind of going to shit regardless. I've got an idea. Okay. I know what we're going to do for politics this time around. Okay. Because I think everyone is sort of a little bit upset that okay. all the... the And we're going to get political here on Chuckle Sandwich right now. Mm-hmm. I think everyone's a little bit upset that all the main candidates in these coming years... Are gonna be like the bunch of old dudes. Everyone's like, these guys are too fucking old. You look in the you look in Congress, and it's a bunch of old people walk around being old. So yeah. maybe we re sort of design our whole campaigning rules and stuff, and that and say that like cause you have to be at least thirty five to become the president of the United States, right? That's pretty young still. That's pretty young. That is pretty so young. So I think that if we in, 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 insert challenges. Of physical and mental strength, we could better sort of determine who's the best guy to run the show, the big show. Yeah, even like a very basic human baseline test, like a capture. <laughs> you get, <laughs> bro. You <laughs> that would weed out both candidates this upcoming election cycle if you made them do a fucking capture. Just the simple <laughs> ones too that AI can get now, like like the like. Just the words are Joe, just a little bit weird because you Joe know be for like, a fact. Joe would be like, uh, uh, "Traffic cones kind of in the box." I don't know if that. Be, I don't know if that's enough to count because you know for a fact that Joe Biden's got an iPhone with the accessibility options that make his text oh, yeah. like you, you get like half a sentence on one screen. It's yep. like it's like it's like "Hello, Mr. Biden." If at the beginning of an email, and that's it, and then he has to scroll for like twenty minutes to get a whole email in. Yeah, no, dude. We're gonna add, we're gonna add some captions. That'll be the first. That'll be the entry. The yeah. entry sort of thing. just a baseline. <laughs> but that's a good baseline, I think, too, because I feel like half the people that are seventy and over don't even understand what the 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 purpose of a of a caption oh. or a captcha is. It's like, what am I doing here? And bro, those are say? getting hard. They're getting Wait. fucking <laughs> difficult now. You 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 realize how more difficult captures have gotten because of AI, dude. Yeah, you know why. Because captures have been training the AI. Yeah. Oh well, that's a bit backwards, don't we think? Well, that's it's what. True. Oh, with Google. It's true, bro. That's why they're they all are, pictures of like. That's why they were signs. easy. That's why ten years ago they were fucking easy, and now they're getting more difficult because we've they've been sufficiently trained on the easy shit. So you need Damn. humans to tell them which is humans. real. Humans. Humans. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I've been have. I've been having a little bit of trouble. Sometimes it'll be like. Point out the bike, and it'll be like the bottom smallest part of a tire of a bike, and I'll be like, "Does this count? Yeah, does it count? I'm gonna I don't do know. it as if like that four second loss of having to retry the captcha is like yeah. too much time." That's what they're using to get self driving car AI going. That's yeah, all the, that's, that's a conspiracy. That, that might be a mind. nice conspiracy. No, that I think, it I is like all. It's not a, it is all it's traffic. All, traffic, it's all traffic, traffic questions stuff. these days. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it's a conspiracy. I feel like that's I think pretty that's, cut and dry. Who's it? Who's it? Google's probably going selling to, it to Tesla and yeah, Mercedes and everybody. Well, Google's running it. I know they're probably the collecting the data and then just selling it to car companies. I mean, mm. they're. I bet Google's trying to make their own car. They've already got that whole Street View and stuff. I feel like Google is in the is in the zone where they'd be like. What if we made a car? Like no, Google has been a useless company for like 10 years now. Yeah. They haven't put so. out a single meaningful product in 10 years. Yeah. They, well, they've got that whole like that whole think tank thing that those they're always thinking of stuff. What? Like their deep mind. They got whatever. that think tank thing. They're always thinking of I don't stuff. Know, Google's got like a think tank. They got a bunch of like nerds Not a in a room. Not a single good idea has ever come out of that fucking thing. I guarantee well, you. mind, I guess. Dude, they're, they're riding on their laurels of having the ads engine and the fucking YouTube and that's so they've it. They've got their AI. Their, like- AI, their AI is non-competitive with other companies. Damn. Well, okay, wait. I need you to have finish. to type in Reddit at the end of any Google search <laughs> to get a meaningful result. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're behind, result, bro. You need they're a behind. from a human because there's so many. And the amount these days, the amount of articles I find when I'm trying to solve like a simple, comp- like just a functional question I have about like, or just even a recipe. I'm just trying to figure out a oh. recipe how to make like. 
I'm trying to make a final make a recipe on just yes. how to make a fucking mojito or something on a Friday night. And I go yeah. on Google, and it's like the first th- seven minutes worth of scrolling is like the <clears> mojito <throat> is the world's favorite cocktail. It is cemented <clears throat> itself in the psyche. Yeah, of dude, the show human me the fucking community. recipe. And, and I'm, yeah, I'm like, you got to scroll past three fucking ads, three ads, and then we'll, in the middle of one, it, well, another one pops up. Yeah, I think that I think that the easiest way to discover if something is written by AI, they got those like AI detector things that people run through, which are like half the time they're like false flags. I think the easiest way to read it is just to read through it and think to yourself, especially on Twitter and stuff, is like, would I like wanna be a hot like a like a like a fiction level high school bully and beat this person up for being a Poindexter through reading through this. Am I, yeah. am I like, yeah, he's a fucking nerd when I'm reading through this, then it's made exactly. by AI because yeah. AI is the biggest nerd. It's the perfect computer. nerd. I was doing a fucking, I, I was on Google images for some inspo. Okay. I typed in Victorian house and I could tell that some of these images were just AI. It was just generating images of it. Like some of them very clearly just not actual places. Yeah. And it's depressing. It's depressing. Some of those houses, the, I've, I know some of those houses, though. If you if you dude, go up to the top, Tucker, and you click that one in the very, very middle, I think that that one is in Martha's Vineyard or something. No, mm-hmm. that's not in Martha's Vineyard. But there's houses like this in Martha's Vineyard. But that that's... Cool. Like, it's just that, you, that's there was AI a, there right was there. A, that, that one that Tucker was just on, that was AI. Of course. Very that, clearly. That's 100% you can AI. just tell. You can just tell. And like these are the top results now. And it's just kind of sad. I feel like the internet is we're, we're witnessing its decline in usability. Um, yeah. And I just think back to a time where getting on the computer was like a cool like, oh, I'm going to get home from school and get on the computer and maybe talk to smarter child on AOL instant messenger, yeah. you know? And now it's now it's like you the the computer is everything and you have you're on the computer 24/7 and it's not even as fun as it used to be it's just kind of sad. Yeah, the flash games were the best, dude. Oh god, kitten cannon. Fuck oh, shit. Shoot that little fucking pussy out of that cannon or the flight of the hamsters. The kid codename kids next door game. Flight of the hamsters where it was like it, it would play Ride of the Valkyries as the music. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, well, it was a but, good one. But I'm, I'm empathizing with you. And Thank I you. I have appreciate nostalgia. That. Um, I have it through you. I'll tell you what I'm thinking, though. Okay. Going back to that presidential sort of race thing, because I've got yeah. some ideas on what we could do. So we got to do that. We start open up with the capture, right? Yeah. Capture's good. That's that's like the baseline. Here you have to get to mm-hmm. apply. That gets you on the Actually, stage. Actually, before I continue on this, have you ever seen Vermin Supreme? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know Vermin Supreme. Okay, I he's still doing it. There's a for those who don't know, there is a man <laughs> named Vermin Supreme, and every election cycle in <laughs> North in New Hampshire, it. in New Hampshire, he will start at the Democratic primary, and he's a wizard that wears a boot as a hat, and he will start off and just saying like a bunch of nonsense. And if you really want a, a good uh, sort of, uh, yeah, he's on C-SPAN 2024. This dude is a legend. Uh, he wears a boot on his, I don't know, he's just like a wizard guy, and he'll just say a bunch of nonsense, and it's on C-SPAN. It's like publicly available, archived information mm. of the things that this guy has said um and he's still doing it i love <laughs> i love that some of the main themes of supreme's campaign are uh instituting a mandatory toothbrushing law giving every american a free pony using zombies for renewable renewable energy zombie apocalypse awareness and and time travel research research and i Maybe honestly he's your guy he might be my guy specifically, yeah. Yeah. If I if I start if I came to him and I started talking, I'd be like, "Hey, dude, I got this idea about ramps that you're really gonna want to <laughs> yep. listen to." He'd yep. be like, "Come into my office." And he like, takes the boot off his head. He's like, he gets all serious. <laughs> Take, mm. He takes his, the boot off and then he's like, takes a phone out of it. He's like, "Paula, cancel my twelve. <laughs> he takes the boot off a s- second smaller boot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's just a fucking Russian doll. Okay, um, so you do the CAPTCHA. Yeah, we do the what? CAPTCHA. 
I think that in order for us to have a proper president, we need to have people in office that can handle G-forces. Um, and I think that a really good, and also knows the land of the country, someone who has been all over. And a way to brute force that is if we get them in like fucking F1 cars, right? We suit them up, get them in F1 cars, and make a whole F1 track that goes around the entire country to every state, and they're going at like 200 miles per hour the whole time. And it's and it's a, it's like. They only maybe they, maybe they'll they'll get a little bit of sleep, but like they're going around okay. curves and stuff. They're going through the whole country. So I want to be completely honest. You're losing me here. Why? <laughs> because let me it's let me spin it capture, for you this dude. way. It's let a me physical sp- capture. Spin it for you this way, dude. Okay. Spin. The future of this country is not cars. Okay. Why are we putting these politicians in cars? We okay, need to put them in. Put them in high velocity. Cars. High velocity trains, a high velocity train rail network. So what are they doing on the train? They'll sit on the train. They'll try and okay. Are they driving? Here's this. They're trying to get on an Amtrak train, and that's the whole challenge. (laughs) Okay, is that hard to do for some people? So okay, you ever at Moynihan and you're like, oh fuck, where's this fucking train going? Okay, I see what you're doing. So so we'll start off with the caption. Next one, get on the train. The next one, after that, they have to climb a single flight of stairs. A normal flight mm. of stairs. One that's in the house. Well, dude, those and, trains, those trains got they got steps getting up to them. Yeah. You ever been you ever been to an Amtrak train station that's just concrete on the floor and they have little footstools to get up oh, into the yeah. train? Yeah. Those are fun though, because you got the conductor and he's like looking legit. Yeah, and he comes out. They're not. They don't do them like they used to anymore. There's no tickets. You just show him a little fucking QR code, and he scans it with his own fucking Android. But don't you think it would be more metal though if it was like this guy won the grand race? It would be cool, but I don't know how much that would reflect. Okay, this person is fit to make policy for our country. You know, Tucker, you seem like you have a thought on this. I think you no, know, it's a presidential race, right? And like. You know how the debate, Mm -hmm. every four years, there's like the presidential debate and everybody watches it. What if Mm -hmm. we got them both in like a stadium? Everybody's watching it. The stadium's full. And they did like an obstacle course or something. (laughs) And it's like. Or or, or like those. Have you ever seen professional tag? Yes. I was going to say that, dude. They make them play tag. With a bunch of fucking obstacles in the middle. Can you imagine? And they have to be like in their suits, too. Like, can you yeah. imagine seeing a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of like grown men or women in suits, just like or, or pant suits, just jumping over obstacles, like yeah. doing doing the monkey bar shit? If they did like a bunch of Olympic events and we all watched, and then like somebody's obviously gonna win, and they're just like, hey, keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, keep that in mind. I got the longest standing long jump here. <laughs> My opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Like My opponent like, can't even get two feet on the standing long jump. <laughs> yeah, it's like Biden was able to pull ahead in Arizona because we know that that's a very big long jump state. We know that mm. state really values their long jumping skills. <laughs> like different, like the battleground states yeah. are the ones that are like looking for specific skills. Watch him do like a 400 meter sprint and then maybe a shot put. <laughs> Javelin toss. Yeah, and it's just like. And, and it, it would weed out the old people really quick because you could see the old people trying to do it one year and then it's just like there's like that young buck that's just clearing them, dude. It's yeah. just totally. clearing them. Totally. Especially totally. when you get into, especially, especially when you get into like shit like boxing. Yeah. He's, oh, man. He's beating them by like minutes in a race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, minute, full minutes. Oh, yeah. I'd watch that. This, I think, is going to be the new fashion, by the way, Schlatt. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no. add that to your repertoire of already questionable choices, and maybe it'll stick. Maybe it'll stick. Man, you're really making me feel bad about myself lately. No, I don't want to make you feel bad about yourself. Well, that's not, I'm what, that's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I'm just I'm brutally honest. I'm just, that's my flaw. Yeah, yeah, you are an honest boy. An honest boy making honest money and honest work. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know, I mean... Do anything? Do you get him? Do anything cool? Drink any good soda lately? Soda? No. Really? Yeah. I just found out though that Arnold Palmer has a has a hard version, and I've been drinking that a lot. 
Really? Yeah. There was a period of my life when Arnold Palmer was like the biggest fucking deal. Yeah. It, it, it was like a, the yeah, Arizona it, era for sure. That was but fucking it was, crazy. We got to talk about that. It's like that in Vineyard Vines when hand in hand, dude. Yeah. Arnold yeah, Palmer like, and Vineyard Vines just on a summer day. You know? Yeah. But, you know, I did find it. I did find it at my local gas station, and I was like, fuck. I was only here for dipping Dots, but I got to try that, too. There's your uh, lab right there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Jeez. It's in the Arnold Palmer shop. That's fun. Well. <sighs> well. I, ha I do have one thing that has been going on lately. One more okay. topic. Okay. That I think might need our attention, and that is, have you been seeing this new stuff on the Royal Family, Schlatt? No. This is the Kate Middleton stuff. What's been going on? Do you know who Kate Middleton is? I have no idea who that is. Who's she's Kate like, Middleton? She's the Princess of Wales. Oh, God. So she communicates. Shit. Well, she communicates with the, uh, what are they, arthropods? Whales? They're the, the largest mammal in the world. Yeah. Um, she communicates with them, and... And and she's she's their princess, and so mm. kind of akin to Barbie. It's like a real life Barbie kind of thing. Either way, she had abdominal surgery uh, semi recently, and people like don't think that she's like alive or something. They think she's this dead. Is, this is like I don't know. I've been seeing this on Twitter all the time too, because I, I would see like little tweets where people would be like, "Yeah, I didn't really care about Kate Middleton," and then I started looking into it, and it's like freaking me out. But um. On my birthday, on January 16th, she had abdominal surgery. And in, and then Buckingham Palace said that she would be in the hospital for 10 days. Uh, and until recently, no one has seen her for like two months. Mm. Like She was missing for two months. And it led to a bunch of like conspiracies. Like like some jokes, some like real. Like one was like, oh, you know, she's growing out some bangs. That she's getting a Brazilian butt lift. Or that something went wrong with her surgery and she like died mm -hmm. or is in a coma. Um, and then, you know, on, on, in February, they made like a statement, like her team made a statement. They're like, she's recovering, yada, yada. Um, and then they released these paparazzi pics of her that we can pull up onto the screen here. And people are like, this just doesn't look like her. There's like these grainy paparazzi photos and they're like, this ain't fucking her. And then very recently, uh, yesterday, they, I guess Kensington Palace, where she lives, they released a picture of Kate and her kids. And this kind of connects well to the AI thing. People really can't fucking tell if this is AI or real. Mm. She's not wearing her wedding ring in the photo. Mm. Um, and, like, the kid's hands are doing, like, weird things. Like, they, like this, that kid on the left, he's, his, mm. his, hands, his hands all, like, wrapped up and looking fucking freaky. His hand's super um, blurry. And this, her thing... Or shirt clips here. Let me see this. Let me see this. Yeah, here somebody's like connected all the issues. Also, the faces of the children. That's a very AI face. That a lot of teeth, big, big well, open they, I smile. Mean, I feel like it would be more intense if it was like these are not her kids, and we've never like. <laughs> I'm, I, it might be like, <laughs> yeah, if they were just like random kids, and they were like, who the fuck is like this? all her kids are grown, and then. <laughs> but I think that people are thinking it's like maybe like a combination of both AI and like Photoshop and stuff, and like it's not. Oh. You know. Yeah, there's definitely some doctoring going on here. Yeah, so it's huh. sort of like. What's going on there? <laughs> What's this it like? And also, why did that extend? The lighting like if it is a problem. Oh, the lighting yeah. is also perfect all the way around. Well, that's that could also just be like professional photography. Yeah, well, they're rich fucks. Yeah, so that's something that's going on. And we at the Chuckle Sandwich team will be needed to be keeping tabs on this. We're going to be needed making sure, you know, yeah, like yeah. we might actually fly Tucker out to Kensington Palace so he can start snooping around and see what's oh, going on. Fly me out too. Fly me out too. We could just yeah. make it a big group trip. Yeah, we'll just we'll Chuckle charter. Week. We'll you guys come out of here to Greenville. We'll charter a Mr. Beast PJ. Mm. PJ is that what they call it? Yeah, oh, that's yeah, actually what they call it. In, yeah, in the in the in the. In the Private, private jet flying community, they call them PJs. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, and it ain't pajamas. That's what I'm saying. 
but yeah, so chuckle sandwich listeners, if you guys could also look into us, we got to figure out. I mean, I haven't been invested. I don't even know who this woman was until I <laughs> started hearing about this stuff. So you know, get in, get in there, figure it out. Well, I'm gonna get. Don't in go there. to her place. I'm gonna don't get go in her there. Out. So that's gonna get in there. That's my job to get inside, guys. Okay? <laughs> He's gonna get. Inside don't anyone the else go to her house or anything like that. Yeah, I'll take care of it. I promise. Good. Um, I will take care of Kate Middleton. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, I will take care of the Kate Middleton situation. Situation, yeah. It's getting more and more spooky each time you say it. I am going to take care of this situation. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll she will be dealt with. Son of a bitch.